Hello guys, today in this video session I will discuss about the process of recovery of SCCM site server using the SCCM backup. So let us proceed step by step. So starting with the steps, prepare new SCCM site server, install the OS and patch it fully, then join to the domain using exactly same name as previous SCCM site server. Then copy the whole backup folder to a local drive on the new site server. In this picture we have created a folder SC backup. Then from the first folder that is cd.latest launch the setup file. Then after launching the setup file this screen will appear. Just click on the install and proceed. Then in the next screen, just click the next. In the next window, just click on the option recover a site and proceed next. In the next window, just click on the option recover this site server using an existing backup. Also the second option recover the site database using the backup set at the following location. In both the blank spaces put the same path where you have created the backup folder. Then after clicking next automatically by default the option of recover primary site will get selected. Just click next and then you have to enter the product license key. So select the first option, install the evaluation edition of this product. That is when you install the current branch evaluation edition of this product, it is fully functional for 180 days. Then after clicking next, you will have to accept all the license terms and privacy statements. So check all the boxes and proceed for next. Then after clicking next, you have to provide the path for prerequisite downloads. If the prerequisite files are already downloaded, then you just provide the path and click next. I have mentioned in the description about the prerequisites. So please refer to the video description as well. Then after clicking next, you will get this window where site code and the site name will be populated by default. You have to provide the installation folder. If you choose to provide any other path, then provide another path. Otherwise, the default path for the site installation is C drive program files, Microsoft configuration manager. Then check the last checkbox and proceed for next. Then after clicking next, you will get this window where you have to provide the SQL Server name. The database will be auto populated from the backup folder and the service broker port will be 4022. Then click next. Then after clicking next, there is a window where you have to specify the locations for the SQL Server data file and transaction log file. The default path is C drive program files, Microsoft SQL Server. Then as per your environment, provide the path. Then the second path will also be the same path. Then after providing these two paths, click on next. In the next window, you will have the diagnostic and users data. Just click next. In the next window, that is in the summary page. Verify all the settings if they are correct and proceed for the next. After clicking next, the installation will begin and it will take around one hour to complete. It can take more depending upon the environment. Once the core setup has got completed on the install page, then click next. Then on the finished page, you get the options of post recovery actions. Just complete the post recovery actions after launching the console. 
and this is how we complete the site recovery from the existing database backup thank you for watching this video if you do have any queries or suggestions please do post out in the comment box and i would definitely respond to those let us meet in the next video with new engaging topic till then goodbye take care